What is up everyone, Flash from Flash Hobbies, and we're continuing the Flash Hobbies 2020 RC Collection. This one, I'm sure you've seen some videos of it. If you haven't, I will leave a card up there for you to check out. This truck in action it has seen dirt and a lot of action actually. Um, so, totally 100% custom built truck. Um, this truck was made by a builder out of, I believe, Reno or somewhere in the Las Vegas area. I for sure came from Nevada. He was a talented builder. I don't think he built these anymore. He goes by Elvis RC on Instagram. I'll leave him down below, but he really doesn't do a whole lot of RC stuff. He's got a couple builds for sale, but it's it's from his like personal collection. But you can always message him and see if, if he's interested in building you one. But um, I did jump on one of these whenever he had them for sale. So we'll start off with the body. The body is an Axial Yeti Score 1 8 just stock body, but it was painted by a very talented painter named Barry Gamble out of New York, I believe, or the New Jersey area. And um, I'll link his Instagram in the description below if you want to check him out. Does amazing paint work. Has done a couple bodies for me, and I'm always thrilled. Um, so I went with the uh, Justin Lofton Jimco the black version now I absolutely I saw that truck in action I was like yes that is that is the color that I want to go for so it's a black and red scheme um, as far as the outside like I said it's it's all custom paint and you're gonna find a lot of custom touches on this thing so we have um, I don't remember off the top of my head where I got these light bars from the the top one and the one in the front but they're they're a company that's pretty well known and they have like some of the brightest waterproof um, lights out there so that's what I went with this truck Went with the Baja Squadron box lights on the inside. It's got a light bucket on the inside, and I custom drilled holes and stuff like that to fit them in there, and they turn on. Work great. Again, here's some more, of, just so you can check out that paint job. It's just, it's absolutely amazing. Cage, 100% um, custom. Like I said, he does amazing work. The welds are very nice, and I got this painted up by a buddy of mine. And like I said, it's just an amazing truck. The panels I am going to replace, they're Lexan right now, I'm going to replace them with some metal ones and do some carbon fiber or something on the outside. But um, as far as wheels, we are running the Proline BF Goodrich Baja KR2s. I have some um, foams on order because this truck is kind of heavy and it smushes down these tires pretty good. The inside foam is just too squishy for this and I need something with more rebound. Uh, the wheels are Chankish 1.9 beadlocks off of eBay always buy these wheels off of ebay and they've just been so reliable and i just can't spend 200 dollars on rims when i can spend 40 bucks on these and it looks just as good i mean tell me these don't look good on this truck even if you do i'm not going to believe you um i went with uh just cheapo aluminum um these actually have held up pretty well from china these little orange ones i don't know why i went with orange but i just like the way it looked they looked really nice um in addition to that metal concepts rc front arms um elvis the builder of the truck actually made these upper arms for it so that was pretty cool and it looks really nice whenever they're in action now this has a lot of droop as you can see here that's that's a lot of wheel travel and the reason why it has this wheel travel is because we used um axial yeti score rear shocks so we're running proline power strokes on all four corners on this truck and it just it handles like a dream now as for weight i don't remember but i believe the last time i weighed this thing was probably about 15 i think almost 16 pounds so it's it's a hefty hefty truck um we're running the protec servo over here the Tekken Pro 4 4000 kV motor with the Mamba Max 6S ESC um, custom made battery tray which I actually put on wrong and it's kind of slanted so I have to go back and fix that and of course all this wiring is all over the place because I have lights and becks and all kinds of stuff on here to run all this stuff as for the rear I'm still running a matching set with the other wheel so if something does happen I can swap it out that's very realistic as far as scale touches, not really a whole lot. I have a scale jack in the back, a fire extinguisher, some faux um, bypass from the shocks just to give it that look. i um, doing Fox shocks since this is a Fox truck. And we have the Intigy aluminum rear sway kit for the Axial Yeti score. Works great. I haven't had any issues with it and it keeps the back from wobbling out. As I mentioned, I was running power strokes in the back and I also added these 110th Lizard um, internal spring shocks to the rear just to give it that extra rebound. Running this beautiful, beautiful um, Metal Concepts RC uh, rear axle. 
absolutely love these things so well made i've never had anything strip out on it the metal concepts rc's rear arms as well again very beautiful arms well made he added some some detail out here on the outside to give it extra heft and i've never had any of these break on me and on this one i'm running a i believe it's deadlock rc rear dry shaft and it's uh the steel one never had this break on me Great truck. I will say though that it does put out a lot of power and I do get a lot of um, oversteer because it is a two wheel drive truck. So I have to compensate on that a lot. But other than that, it's a really, really great truck. Well guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions on this, feel free to ask down below. I always answer back. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe with notifications, and we'll see you on the next one.